was here tonight. Had a bunch of illiterate whites that probably couldn't even pass the test themselves. That's what you see. Guns and sticks. In America. Get a good look at their faces so the rest of the world can see it. That's what they look like. Proceed in small group. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. small group. Did this uh, work out as, as you had thought it might? Uh... No, I uh, I think it's something you almost have to witness and see for yourself before you yes. can believe it. I don't think no one has the right to it. Anyone regardless to where they are, what section they are, but they just proved it. Yeah. Not only to me, I think to many people in America, all over the world, they never would have believed something like this could have happened. No. Well, what, what did you hope to accomplish by by joining this uh, this, uh, this march? To go down, to see to it that they got in the courthouse. I was unmolested. Same thing I would accomplish if we had to go to Korea tonight. Uh, no, because it's right. No, because it's something I believe in. Did you feel that uh, you would be called uh, one of the, what they've been calling, an outside agitator? Uh, no more so than Hitler called Southern white boys outside agitators during World War II. <laughs> what do you think is ultimately going to happen to this uh, drive to get registration? Well, well, we will register and we will vote. Yeah. It's a matter now of how long the federal government is going to let it go on. They can take it 100 years or they can do it tomorrow. Uh, today it was mild, but the bitterness and the tone of the things that some of the, the police were saying just again goes back to how ignorant the qualifications must be to be a cop in this area here. And then again, how irresponsible they are. The little dirty, trashy things they were saying on the way as we were moving on. Uh, shows that they can't handle their own situation down here. Well, you feel uh, pretty resentful then, uh, don't you? I feel very resentful, not for myself, uh, for the people that go through with this day in and day out. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the bad problem with this. Mm -hmm. uh, you handle a man the same way you handle a guy that stuck up a bank or murdered someone simply because he's trying to exercise a legal right, uh, then you have to say it's all wrong. Mr. Gregory, what do you think of the way the police handled the crowd of marchers this morning on the way to the courthouse? Well, I think they've proved finally that the police department here is irresponsible, the city is irresponsible, and from anything on here that happens, I don't think you can blame them. I think it's time now that the federal government should step in and control the whole thing. When the police treat people like they were talking to convicts or bank robbers or murderers, mainly because they tried to exercise the legal right to vote, then I would say that the complete leadership in this whole area have broken down. Do you, th you feel that you were personally mistreated by police? No, I don't feel that I was personally mistreated no more than anyone else was. They asked me to move, and I told them which direction I was going, and then the one police hit me in the back, which wasn't that hard, but I guess just personal satisfaction for him, not to hurt me. And then when they grabbed me and shoved me across the street, I still didn't feel personally misused, because I, I felt misused in the standpoint. They did not tell me I was under arrest. And yet, still, one of the police uh, had the nerve enough to say that uh, you were resisting arrest. And uh, I don't know. It's just like uh, that I witnessed today would be like going to the zoo looking at a monkey show or something. It's just unbelievable. Had you planned to march off in a group with the rest of those uh, with those who had tried to register before the police ordered you to disperse? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Were you, uh, I noticed at one point a policeman had an arm lock on you when he was leading you across the street. Uh, did this, uh, was this painful or do you feel this was abuse of any sort? No, as a matter of fact, uh, although as tight as he was holding me, I didn't even feel it at all. 
Do you plan to play any further role in the voter registration drive here? Oh, yes. We're going back again today, and uh, I have to speak up in Clarksdale tonight, and I'll either go to the Justice Department from here or I'll go into Chicago. But I will be in constant touch with what's going on down here. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure.